What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Today I'm going to teach you how you can keep your social media platform secure and why it's so important. Let's go! Uh, yeah, welcome to the vlog, to the vlog, welcome to the vlog, motherfucker. Welcome to the vlog, to the vlog, I hope you enjoy your stay. Now today's episode sort of, you know, relates to everyone that has social media and that is probably 99% of the people that are watching this video. You need to keep those platforms secure. You might think that you can't be hacked, but I know friends that have been hacked and they're not famous, they're not influencers, they're just random people. You know, their, their accounts got hacked and they had no way of really getting their account back uh, and they've just lost their account or had to pay a ransom to get their account back. These are real things that can happen. Now, honest, honestly, your best defense against social media hackers is two-factor authentication. This is really, really easy to set up. If you've never heard of the term two-factor authentication before, I encourage you to watch a video on YouTube and figure out how to set it up on your own social media platforms. Now, aside from two-factor authentication, there are some other things you can also do to keep your social media platform secure. This is a little bit of an underrated one, but it's really important to never save your passwords on devices that you do not own. If it's a friend's device, if it's a sibling's device, or if it's at a local cafe, do not save your password. Make sure that when you leave that room, your password leaves with you. Now thirdly, you can also change your password every now and again. Maybe every year, maybe every six months or so, change your password so just in case, you know, you did leave it logged in somewhere or you did write it down on a piece of paper that somebody else found, it doesn't matter, you've changed it. And make sure you do not use the same password for all your social media platforms. I know, it's definitely the easiest and most convenient thing to do. Just use the same password over and over again, but this means that if a hacker successfully hacks into one of your social media platforms, they're going to be able to hack into all of them. A friend of mine who's an artist actually experienced a hack and all of his platforms and all of his content was actually deleted. Thankfully, he managed to get most of his platforms back, but for a short period of time, he had essentially no contact and no way of getting into contact to his entire audience. As underground artists, we rely a lot on our social media platforms to talk to our audience. And without these platforms, we suddenly lose that contact with our audience. Now, there are other ways you can keep this contact and I'll talk about them in a video in the future. But hopefully in this video, you've learned something and please share it with someone if you think they can also learn something from watching this video. Please, especially if you're an underground artist, make sure your social media platforms are secure. You should have two-factor authentication on every single one of your social media platforms that includes YouTube, that includes Twitter. Get two-factor authentication and it might just save you the biggest headache of your life. Well, that concludes the second episode of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to tell somebody you love them and peace out. What's Prada? What's Dolce and Gabbana? What's Fendi? Givenchy? Yeah, I'm blowing Tiaga. What's Gucci? What's Prada? What's Dolce and Gabbana? What's Louis? Givenchy? Yeah, I'm blowing Tiaga.